okay. Alright. This would be a perfect place to level up a little bit because I have this save thing here. So, let's get Donald. Done. Status. Goofy's level 22. How'd that happen? Gosh. gosh. Great. Gooly moodly. Alright, hang on a second, folks. Alright, I went and checked the grinding requests since I'm about to go grind, and um, I wrote down a list of them. Uh, I should say beforehand that there were some, and I'm just basically going to go down the list as they were posted. However, there will be some I can't do. Like, for example, uh, Galagoth wanted me to talk about uh, HP Lovecraft and such, and I've never actually read an HP Lovecraft book. I know. I know. <laughs> I've heard about them, never actually read them. So, yeah. Uh, another one was like, uh, do Disney trivia when you get to different worlds, and I don't really know Disney trivia, so... <laughs> I, uh, I've watched all the Disney movies, but nowhere near enough to be able to say, hey, fun fact, folks! Mickey has two tails that he switches out every Tuesday. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know trivia that well. So, um, there might be a couple I can't do. Uh, also, some people said I should talk about the uh, previous Final Fantasy games for people who are not familiar with them. Unfortunately, there is not enough time in this game to do that. The, 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 each Final Fantasy, which you gotta understand, each Final Fantasy is very, completely separate. Completely separate world, story, characters, everything than the Final Fantasy before or after it. There's no direct sequels. Uh, unless you count Final Fantasy X too, which most people would rather pretend that game doesn't exist. So, um, that would be a really difficult, uh, request. Because Final Fantasy VII is a completely different story, character, everything than Final Fantasy VIII, etc., etc., and the stories are so long and complex that I wouldn't have time to even give you a summary of them. So you guys would just have to find out on your own. Let me suffice to say that um, that uh, they uh, they're very, very good stories. Uh, if you like or can handle the uh, turn-based combat and the grinding and the uh, random encounters that can be quite frustrating at times, uh, you would absolutely love those games. They're so chock full of stuff to do. Uh, I think every single one of those games I played 80, 90, 100 plus hours, at least. At least that much. Um, like Final Fantasy VIII has like the card game that you could lose yourself in for hours. Uh, Final Fantasy X has Blitzball, which a lot of people hated. I loved it. Uh, I played it a lot. Um, but yeah, so that's all I can say about those. Um, so let me just go down the list of what some requests were. Uh, I'm not going to be doing history because I have too many other requests. And what we'll do is I will just do history when there aren't any other requests for things. And uh, the first request I had was to talk about uh, what my favorite Dragon Ball Z saga is and why. And that's actually kind of a tough one. I like all the Dragon Ball Z sagas. Um, and I had to think about that for a while. I really like the Android saga. Uh, I like Trunks a lot. I like um, Piccolo. And that's kind of where his heyday is. What was that? Examine? Um, oh, whatever, I'll try and climb that all the way up. Might as well. Get off my pole. Um, I like Piccolo, and that's when he's at his strongest, is during the uh, Cell Saga. But if I had to say one I liked the best, it would be the Boo Saga. Um, probably not the entire Boo Saga. I would say the early Boo Saga. I think once, uh... Once they started going into Vegito and getting sucked up by Kid Boo and and all that stuff, I, uh, yeah. the last fight was really cool. But yeah, what I really liked was the uh, all the way from the Saiyaman episodes to uh, 
to, uh, I guess up to Super Boot. But I, I know my favorite really was um, all the way from the Sandman to uh, the end of the Majin Buu fight with, uh, you know, Vegeta and Majin Buu. That to me was just, the whole thing was really, really good. The, uh, what the fucker? Um, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on two things at once. The Sandman, the Gohan meeting Videl and teaching Videl stuff, the uh, World Tournament, uh, the whole Vegeta, Gohan, and Vegeta and uh, Goku going through Babidi's ship, um, and the the first fights with Majin Buu. Uh, and why did I like it? I liked it because I thought the fights were some of the best in the series. Um, I absolutely loved the uh, Videl Spopovich fight, even though poor Videl got pounded so bad. It was such an emotional fight. I mean, for as far as the show was concerned, um, I love seeing Gohan get pissed. Uh, when Videl was getting beat up. Um, I love the fight between Vegeta and Goku. Really? They don't spawn forever? Oh, that'll suck. Make this a grinding session and I can't grind. Um, I, 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 I love the, the fight between Gohan and Vegeta. You'd been waiting for so long. So long. And it didn't disappoint. Um, and I like the sense of helplessness that you got. Um, when trying to take on Majin Buu for the first time, where everyone tried everything and they were just getting pounded. Um, I really like the fight between Deborah and Gohan too. I like that one a lot. Um, yeah, so I would have to say the Majin Buu saga, especially the early parts of the Majin Buu saga, uh, would be my favorite. Um, okay, so the next one is, did I ever do any pen and paper RPGs, uh, other than Lone Wolf, which Lone Wolf I wouldn't really consider. They have a pen and paper RPG of Lone Wolf, but I never played it. Um, yes, I did, actually. Uh, I played two. Well, three. I, I did do, um, the Star Wars RPG, but I did, like, two sessions of it, so I don't really count that. Um, I did do a, a lot of, uh, Dungeons and Dragons back when I was in the military, because we had, you know, not much else to do. Oh, I did. Uh, I did. Uh, Aliens versus Predator. Well, you know what? That wasn't a pen and paper because we didn't have pen and we didn't have paper. No, we had pen and paper. So yeah, it was. We didn't have dice, so it was a weird. Basically, when I was in basic training, we had about a month of nothing to do, and um, one of the guys there actually developed. He's really big into uh, role playing games. He developed uh, a role playing game, Alien versus Predator, for us, and. Uh, it had a really neat uh, dice system. Instead of using dice, because obviously we didn't have any, we uh, we had a roll of toilet paper and a trash can, and we had to try and make the shot. And the harder the uh, shot, uh, the further away from the trash can we were, as uh, judged by the um, the GM. So, uh, but I played a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. I usually did a thief character or a, a thief multi-class, but I, I prefer just straight thief because. Um, hmm, I don't want to do this, because Thief, um, characters in pen and paper RPG have a lot more freedom than they do in computer RPGs. Uh, I, I almost, I don't like to play straight Thief in a lot of computer games, simply because sooner or later you're going to end up in most often a lot sooner than later. You're going to end up in face-to-face -face fights and uh, straight up thieves aren't as good at that. But in Dungeons and Dragons pen and paper, you have a lot more options about what you can do as a thief. Um, oh, crud. So, yeah, I know this isn't really grinding. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid that I might not have any more enemies to fight, which would make this completely pointless. Um, Anyway, yeah, uh, Dungeons & Dragons, you have a lot more ways you can uh, play your character, a lot more options that you can do with them, so um, it's it, uh, being a straight thief is a lot more viable. Um, I loved playing Dungeons & Dragons, and I was such a, a dick, I was, I really was, because uh, I played a chaotic good guy who was really looking out for himself more than, you know, he was looking out for anyone else, and... Um, 
uh, in order to play my character correctly, I uh, the w one of the ones I remember the way I got grouped with the party um, was the party needed a thief, uh, someone to help them buy out treasure, etc., etc., etc. Oh man! All right. Um, and uh, so they, they they hired me basically. They they came up to me, and the, the whole point was I was joining after the session had started. And so what the GM said was, you know, they needed a thief, and they were going to hire me to be said thief. How do I get over there? And, um, wow. I'm not quite sure how I do that. Uh, and what I said was, my first, I, I, I tricked them. I said an exorbitant price. I was like, okay, you pay me 500 gold up front. And they were like, we don't have that kind of money. I was like, okay, fine. I'll tell you what, then. You pay me nothing, but whatever I find, I keep. And uh, they said, "Okay, okay, fine," uh, because they were assuming that uh, you know they would find just as much gold as I would, not realizing that a thief has a much higher uh, awareness ability when it comes to hunting for treasure and stuff. <laughs> and uh, so basically, the whole split that you usually get in pen and paper. Uh, RPGs did not count for me. <laughs> and it turned out to be really bad for them because I found a lot of cool stuff. And um, I didn't mention anything. I would just find it and I would take it. And uh, the whole time I, uh, I kept messing with the paladin. Because <laughs> he was supposed to be this do-gooder guy and I didn't like the guy playing the paladin. And um, he didn't quite understand how a paladin was supposed to be played. He was one of those people, and I hate people like this, that just see how powerful a paladin is and accept it, even though they wouldn't really be able to play it that well. And I used to tease him a lot. Like, I'd steal his stuff and then put it somewhere else in the camp, that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, he used to get so upset, and um, I made him lose his paladin powers because uh, I... Um, I don't remember what I did, but I did something to tease him, and uh, he basically got really upset. He shoved me up against the wall and started yelling at me like he said his character did that. And the GM was like, yeah, okay, that's it. You just lost your powers. He's like, what are you talking about? He's like, dude, you're a paladin. You don't rough up innocent people that you can't prove didn't do anything. Because I think what it was is I did something, and he knew I did it, but he couldn't prove that I did it. Um, and so, you know, a, a paladin being lawful good would not really hurt an innocent man without proof, that kind of thing, and definitely wouldn't yell or get so enraged or stuff like that. Oh, I know what it was. Um, because <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, yeah, paladin would kind of get mad at that kind of thing. No, what happened was, uh, when we finished the quest, uh, I screwed everyone over because I said, you know, at the very beginning, I said, what I find, I keep. And they said, okay, fine. And they didn't realize that I was going to find a whole lot more than they would. And they kind of just forgot about their deal and just assumed that I would be um, sharing my loot with them. And so when it came time at the end of the quest to divvy up treasure, you know, 20, 20, 20, 20 percent kind of thing, uh, they said, okay, divvy up your treasure. And I was like, um, yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> they were like, no, you too. And I was like, no, nah, I, I have a signed contract because I literally made them sign it. I, I played it off as, uh, you know, in the game, a thief. Was, oh my god, my my money. Is that where the, the, all the money came from? I didn't notice that before. You jerks. Um, I actually made them sign a contract or made their characters sign a contract. So when it came time to split up the loot, I was like, no, I uh, I got a signed contract right here, Stan. I don't have to uh, divide up my loot. Whatever I find, I keep. And then they got really mad. That's not fair. And I was like, well, then why'd you sign the contract? And they were like, you can't do that. And the GM's like, you signed a contract. What do you, what do you want from me? And, uh, and they were like, well, you should have told us. And the GM's like, if you're not smart enough to figure out what he was doing, why should I tell you? Oh, it was glorious, and um, that's when the paladin shoved me up against the wall and started yelling at me, and that's why he lost all his powers, because a lawful good paladin would should not get so enraged over a legal, justifiable act 